What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Pacific Drive. That's right. Now last time we left off, we were gathering supplies, gearing up and improving our ride for the upcoming journey because right now we are going back to Sierra. And no, we're not going to have to jump through the giant thing that almost took us out last time. Oh, crud. <laughs> Let me back out of this storm. Uh-oh. Uh, well, the beginning of this episode is a little more interesting than I thought it would be there, guys. We managed to dodge getting chopped up by that thing, but we did drive through the storm. So, uh, you know what? A little, little bit of excitement always is nice to spice things up, right? <laughs> well, uh, anyway, let's get back on the road, make sure we're all good to go. Anyway, yeah, we're not going to have to jump back into that big anomaly, but things probably are going to be a little weird, so. There we go. Let's get some music going. So, we're headed to Sierra right now. We're in one of the zones. We're headed to another zone, and then we're gonna go get some goodies. So, I'm gonna leave the car parked right here while I go grab this, uh, stay... This stability anchor or whatever over here. Don't mind me. You guys stay over there. This is further away than I thought it was. That's okay. I don't want to get my car near and get messed up because I saw that purple in the distance. Oh, good. It's those mannequins that explode. All right. Oh, shit. I didn't like that you guys followed me. Didn't like that at all. Alright, let's head on out. Oh, by the way, this is a good opportunity to look how nice and red my car is. Look at that. Look at that nice bright red paint job. Oh, shit. What? Oh, it was the light from this thing. I was like, is something behind me? I just panicked. Alright, we'll load that in there. We'll close that door. And now let's head out. Going back to Sierra. All right, let's go. All right, we're heading this way. Uh-oh, watch out for these guys. They're spinning all around. Oh, we're good, we're good. We got it. We're recovering. We recovered. Recovery is key, guys. Look at that. On to Sierra. All right. Yep, yeah, let's go up here. Got to go back and check some stuff out. Shouldn't be unstable anymore. I think the areas around it are unstable because of me teleporting back. But this one should be better. So hopefully whatever we need to do here isn't going to be too, too dangerous. But I, I have a feeling it might be. Right. Traveling. Different types of abandoned buildings may offer a variety of different resources. Well, I'll have to start looking in abandoned buildings more then, won't I? There were some big abandoned buildings on that last thing that I, I did not peek in. I was scared. I was scared. <laughs> I'll be tougher, guys. I promise. All right. Sierra Town Center, Blistering Woods, Outer Zone. Got it. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. Well, that's, it's yeah. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built limb stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Okay. Oh, shit. Was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mora have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Yeah, I could do that. Where are they at? Oh, the other way that I'm going? Sure, yeah. Oh, we're gonna drive into some poison real quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, poison. Let's, uh, let's do a little off-roading and hopefully not pop any tires. Can we? Oh, shit. Well, well, we got down. I don't know if our tires made it, but we made it down. Our tires look okay. Let's keep let's keep going. Might as well just keep I mean, we're already here. Oh boy. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Look at us. This is where we jumped into the anomaly last time. Good times, good times. Let's see what else is around here, huh? Any cool goodies? Anything in here? Can I get in here even? Yeah, that's good. What's in here? 
Oh, this is a spooky room. Always take some scrap, though. Is that it? That's all you guys had in this spooky ass room? Red light, and you don't even have that much scary stuff. Okay. Hey, it's, it's y'all's stuff, man. I'm just saying. Could have been spookier. Pry bar. I got one of those. Don't mind if I do. That looks like a pressurized canister that I need. Yeah, those gas cylinders are things I need for gears, I think, right? Ooh, what have we got in this crate? I got lots of goodies in here. I'm gonna grab all this stuff. Why not? Why not load up on stuff? Alright, I think that's everything I need in here. <clears throat> do I have that big punch thing? I don't, do I? Is it in the car? Or do I need to make one? I guess I'd have to make one, but I thought I had one. Oh well, let's see. Can I make one? Was it? What, what do I need to make an impact hammer? Oh, I need a gear. I don't have gears. Can't do it. Thought I was gonna be able to get that stuff. Plasma generator. Nope, don't have the gears for it. Oh well, let's get out of here. Stay on track, Zach. Alright, let's go up this hill. Let's see what's over here. We're fine, we're fine. Good, we're good. We're just, it's a little steep here, but that's fine. We're good. Oh, we're drifting. We're drifting. Shit. It's all right. We can course correct. I can always course correct. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're moving. The towers are locked up tight. But you can tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Oh, there you go. Anyway, Sounds good. the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh, boy. That was a sign to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. Right, the things I saw. Here. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those gods one bit. Oh, really? That sounds not good. Nice. Got in. Got that code. All right, what do we got here? Flares? Sure, we'll grab some supplies. Whatever we got here. We'll scrap this. Oh, shit. Did I, why did I I keep... My L2 is like a hair trigger today, guys. I've been throwing stuff on the ground left and right. Alright, what do we got? That's it up here, looks like. Probably. Yeah. So let's just get in here. This is the goodies. Transmuter. What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? Put it in a 9-volt battery? Uh, cannot be stored here. Hmm, what am I supposed to put in there? It turns light into food. Wait, I don't know what this does. Transmuter. Please find attached installation plan of the newer compact LIM converter, limb converters, along with my resignation from Arda. Uh, effective immediately. It has become the favorite pastime of my peers to gripe about the youth of today, but I find myself sentimental. Maybe next generation will be the ones to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of their early days when we brought limb technology's potential was limitless. This machine is a step toward the original version or vision where limb bridges the gap between our materials given to us and our imaginations. Okay, so I need to put food in here. What I, uh, recommend to collect dumpster. No, stabilizing a way through. Local locate stabilizer records. Hmm. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Let's see. Missions. Let's see about that. Replace parts. Stabilizing way through. Locate stabilizer records. Explore the zone. Okay, so this one I'm guessing. Uh, 
Locate stabilizer record. Scan the stabilizer map. Where is that at? Here? Oh. Well, okay. That was fair. I got it. That could have been easier, I guess. Thought it had something to do with that right now, but okay, I'm overlaying the map. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, let's go do that then. How do I do the windshield wipers again? All right, let's go there then. Yeah, let's. I got my. It's on my waypoint. Let's uh, let's head out. The access road will take me straight there. Fuck. So I should probably just go on the access road then. I should probably find a road and take that. Is what I think it's telling me. Let's see. Where's the road at? Okay. I'm here. I need to hop on there. Yeah, we're just gonna take the long way, I think. Alright, yep, this is the end of this road, so let's go. We're just gonna have to ride it out, guys. Just come along with me for the ride, let's... There we go. If you guys need to go to the bathroom or anything, this would be a good time as any, probably. Probably go get those bathroom breaks taken care of. We're just gonna be driving. Go get a drink of water, it's fine. I'll let you know when, when we're back, don't worry. You won't miss anything, it's okay. Leave it running though, I need, I need the, <laughs> I need the, I need the watches, I need the video. I need the eyeballs. <laughs> Alright. Get the hell out of here. Wonder what gives a lot of gears. I'm gonna go off road for a little bit since we're just cruising. Look at this. This is a nice little pathway between these. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm upside down. That's not good. Oh no. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh. Well. Turn the page again. Well, I need to turn my car again. Activate emergency teleporter. Oh. Yeah, I got to, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That worked. <laughs> Had to use the emergency teleporter there. I flipped it. That was the first time for everything, I guess. Are there any uh, gears in any of these buildings? Let's see, because I'd love some gears. Gears? Hello? Oh. I popped the pry bar open there, I guess. Do I have a. I had a. Didn't I have a. No, not scanning for warplication. Don't do that. Don't scan for warplication. <laughs> I don't need it warped. Alright, we'll just grab the goodies in here. Not a lot of goodies, but some- oh, okay. Well, there's some goodies. There could be some goodies. Duck- a lot of duct tape. Weirdly. It's a very wide build- I didn't realize it was all connected. I thought these were going to be multiple buildings here. Pick some chemicals? Don't mind if I do. What if I do grab some chemicals? Alright, well, let's get back out to my vehicle. Oh, nope. Almost left a scrap. I need scrap metal. Alright, let's go out here. Let's go check this building out. You stay right there, Remnant car. Don't be going anywhere without me now. Can I not pry this open? Oh, impact hammer, I see. Okay, well I don't have one of those. And I can't make one because I don't have any damn gears. Can I make gears? 
I remember I remember being able to make gears now. Yeah, let's make two gears. Let's make an impact hammer. Let's bust that open. There we go, look at that. There we go, we got that. We got this place busted open nice and easy. More chemicals, that's nice. What do we got here? All right, we got some more stuff, got more goodies, that's good. They can hear you. Well, I hope so, I got the best music pumping, so I hope they can hear me. I need somebody to hear this sick beats I got going on. All right, another impact hammer door. That impact hammer is pretty cool, I do have to say. I'll go drop off this stuff in the car. Got some good stuff. Yeah, we'll eat that canned food now, why not? I know I'm pretty full already, but hey. Oh, really? Has not kept me to bust up with the impact hammer. Interesting. Well, I mean, I'll do it. Not against it. I just thought I could use a pry bar for that. All right, come on. Good crate in the bathroom. Good stuff. All right. Little crate down. Okay, I think that's... Nope, there's still the big one. Well, we just got to search this one now. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> got to use that impact hammer, too. Alright, we got these goodies. Okay, we got, oh, what, lab computer, interesting. Oh, I don't have enough fucking inventory space for that? That's funny. That's pretty good that I don't even have enough inventory space for it. It's like, no, you actually have to just hold that in your fucking hand. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we'll scrap this then. We'll scrap this real quick, don't mind me. Never too busy to scrap something. Alright, let's keep it going. Walking through here, see what there is to get. See what kind of goodies we got. Articrate. Okay, don't mind if I do a little Articrate. Get some goodies in here. Oh, that's a transmuter, baby. It doesn't want anything that I have, though. But that's fine. That's fine. I don't know what it needs, man. I don't know what these transmuters need or transmitters or whatever the hell they are. I don't know. Yeah, we'll pop this up. Boom. Oh, there's those pressurized cartridges I needed. Nice. I need them, though, so I'm gonna have to drop something. What do I not need? What do I have plenty of? Frickin' fabric? Yeah. Let's grab those pressurized cartridges. Let's throw that fabric on the ground. And let's go back to the car, drop off our stuff, and then get the hell out of here. Oh, Kari. Really original with the names here, guys. All right, let's offload all this stuff we got. At least most of it. And we'll hang on to these. We'll, we'll, we'll move these. Look at that. There we go. And we'll put this, we'll rotate it. There we go, look at that. Look at all that stuff that I don't have to worry about carrying as much of. Gotta love, no, take the impact hammer with me. I just need it in different spots. Yeah, we'll put this here. We'll put this here. There we go, look at that. Now I got all kinds of extra space. All right, let's head out. Oh, I didn't even have this thing in park. Damn. All right, let's roll. 
keep heading to where we need to go though. We're leaving this area, yeah. All right, oh, what do we got here? What the hell, that's crazy looking. Arda lied. Yeah, well, based on whatever the fuck's going on there, it looks like they weren't truthing about some stuff. Nothing in the backpack. Interesting. Interesting and interesting. Okay, let's put that one there. There we go, and we'll put this crowbar... Pop. Oh, no, we already got the crowbar spot. Okay, then we're good. Alright, let's pop this open, see what's inside here. This looks interesting. Okay, we'll take this down. We'll take this down. Yeah. We got all these goodies. Alright, what's in here? Anything good? Oh shit. Oh shit. I got hit by some- oh, I'm getting sh getting shocked here. Okay, we got some stuff out of here, we got stuff we needed, and now we're gonna fucking skedaddle. I think we... seen all we need to see here. What was that? That was cool. What? Yeah, what's that? Thermosap crystal. The tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It's just all manner of me mechanical applications. Oh, fuck you! No! Leave my fucking car alone, you dick! Jesus, that sucked. Alright, let's... Let's go this way. Let's try not to get bashed into anything else. Alright, we're going off-roading, everybody. Alright, yeah, we'll just keep it to here for now. Fortunately, all my tires are good. I'm just... I have repair putty. Let's, let's use some. I have a little bit of repair putty, so we're gonna have to make this worth its while here. Okay, well we used all up all of the goo, which is fine because we repaired most of the damage stuff. This crude panel is pretty rough, but. We got some good stuff repaired, so I'm not going to complain too much. Let's keep going. Just got to keep it moving and get through all this shit, guys. Should be good on gas. Yeah, battery's fine. Where's gas? Yeah, gas is still good. Battery's good. Just got to keep it moving. Got to keep it moving. It's okay. We got little electric fields. They pop up every now and then, but they're not too serious. We're way off-road, but that's fine. We're driving a more direct path here. Shit, nope, driving up trees. Gotta, gotta go a different way there. Yeah, this way is better than the road so far. It fucking seems safer, at least. I've been accosted every five minutes. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. Hey, look at that. We did it. Next junction, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, we're going up here. Don't know where it is, but we're going. We're moving to see what there is. We got to get further in. That's what they wanted. They wanted us to keep exploring, check out other things. Be sure to top your fuel tank before your next trip to the zone. You can also store additional fuel cans in your car's inventory. Oh, I got 
plenty of fuel, don't you worry. We are ready to fuel this thing up all we need. Almost done traveling. Keep your hands on the wheel when driving, but if you light up on the camera controls, your view will automatically return to center and you will, it will turn with the car. Wait, what? I don't know what it's talking about. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Okay. Oh, so I have to go to these stabilizers. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'm headed towards one right now, so that should be easy. Gotta watch out for shockwaves here. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ, that produced me with some power it's there. It's my turn to give you an explanation about the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on Yeah, about. what the hell was don't that? Don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. Okay. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. Huh. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. Well, that's interesting. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Well, that doesn't sound good. A burst of, like, widespread insanity? It sounds bad. Right? I mean, is that just me? We'll park it here. Where are we at? Yeah, we're getting close. It's up here. But first, we're gonna check this house out. What's in this house? Cool stuff? Cool stuff in this house, guys? Okay, a weird chest. Any cool stuff? Doing a cool stuff check. I guess no cool stuff. Thanks. <clears throat> we'll just grab what you have in your crate and we'll leave. Okay. Not bad. We'll grab it. We'll dump it in the storage. Okay, there we go. See? And now we got extra storage on the side, so we still got plenty. Look at us. Look at us. Here's one of, this is one of the things, like, right here, so. Yep, this is one of them. Yeah, we'll leave it running, we'll leave it on, why not? We'll leave it in, in go. I don't want to get caught up and have to put it in drive real quick. Yeah, let's use that camp food, why not? Let's get some food in our system. Nothing in the backpack. Somebody was just kind of camping out in there, it looks like. Right, we just got to get in here and turn this bad boy on, right? Easy peasy. Hell yeah. Got it. Done and done. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? Huh. I saw That's interesting. arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. It was rough. And, uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody yeah. else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But were you working yeah, that's, in your lab? I don't know. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. That's yeah, that's interesting. She's she's not telling something. I said I said in the last episode, she's keeping something close to the vest there, and I don't know what it is. Shit, I was trying to use that speed to get up this hill. We're 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 giving our car quite a beating here, but I think we can make oh fuck, that's one of those bad bunnies, isn't it? No. Stay away. 
Yeah, stay the fuck away from that thing. Alright, let's keep going. Getting close to this next station. There we go. And then from here, we just got one more. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! That was a... That was a wave there. That was a doozy. That was pretty fucking intense. I don't think I've ever ever seen one. That was kind of crazy. An airstrip. Telephone transcript. Central exchange monitoring. Yeah, Tobias, this is Francis Cook. Yeah, the scientist. I got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are not going to get there. Neither is the truck, it seems. We had some kind of atmospheric shift and some more anomalies. I think everyone's seen before. Everyone's safe. But our driver has a broken leg. As for the gel, oh, the whole strip of that road between our lab site and that big old gas station got smeared and scrambled. So now it's more like some kind of giant trampoline. I'm not kidding. Anything that touches the road just takes off. It's starting to spread some of the forest and swamp nearby. It's not that the gel is just spilled on the ground. It's like it's part of the ground. It's like it's part of the ground now, part of the earth itself. So I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. Is there some kind of maintenance request that I should file for this? Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass yeah, that's interesting. Maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. All right. Oh, Don't here it is. Start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using limb to motivate that gamma ray burst. Yeah, I don't know about yes, that. Precisely. And where do gamma rays come from? But out of space. Okay. Get back on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, All right, there we go. for example. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. True. Very true. Yeah, going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Oh, heck. Tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. All right, gamma ray reservoir? reservoir? What? Like, yeah. Or a portal. Yeah, exactly. A portal. <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis. Of All right, let's course. boost through Don't here. Come on. That. Boost it That's through the trees. Come on, baby. It. Oh, whoa! <laughs> hey, Oppie. Whoa! You never cared about any of the zone stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? Yeah, her husband. What she I thinks he's not, somewhere. It's never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you. So, yes. It's our business now. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or. Whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? Uh oh, no, not no, no, via no, protective no. compromise. That's not good. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Come on, we can boost through this. Let's go. The hell with that? We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we right. lose Okay, we gotta get up this hill. The answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. All right, we'll go up around. Sure to We're going to have to. When you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Poppy. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, wow. Okay, that's yeah. rude. Wasting our breath with this old bat. There's gotta be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Oh, she cut him out. Okay. If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I were better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. Okay, come on. Oop, 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 oop. We got it. Last chance. Fuck. No, don't blow it up. Don't blow it up like that. Just get me up the road. Get me up the damn road. Don't throw me off. Okay, there we go. So, Oppie and Francis and Tobias have some crazy history, and apparently Francis lost somebody in the past, maybe, that he's a bit upset about. So, oh shit, not another one of these. Well, we're gonna have to do it, so we're doing it. And we're boosting in, and we're good, and we're going through. We cleared it! Hell yeah, guys. That's how you use an anomaly to your advantage right there. Alright, we gotta keep making it up this mountain, because we're gonna have to go back eventually, but we gotta get elevation first, so... Turn those wipers off. 
Yeah, this thing's banged up. We're, this vehicle's, uh... It's seen better days so far, but we're, we're gonna keep persevering and we're gonna, we're gonna see this through. Alright, let's go this way. We just gotta get off-road now. And go to this last tower. There we go. Let me just follow this winding dirt road all the way down. Oh shit, watch out for the bad bunny. No! There we go, yep, we dodged it. That's good. All right, keep it moving, keep it moving. Up through here. Uh, oh, we're off the road. I was like, where'd the road go? I thought I was gonna have to go through these. Okay, we got it. All right, we're just gonna pull around and park. Look at this. Easy peasy, right? All the glass is fucking just rocked. Is this window good? Yeah, these are good, kinda, but yeah. This side's taking a beating. It's almost like driving straight down mountains is bad for your car. Alright, let's grab these few things. Let's turn this bad boy. Boom! Got the switch flipped. Oh! Alright, we're in business. Stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Okay, get I'll get out of here. Okay, oh Fast. shit. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to get out. Where, where am I going? Okay, I got... Where's my fucking... Where's my thing set? Where's my thing set for? Oh shit. We have to pin a waypoint. I gotta pin a waypoint. Okay, close enough, close enough, let's go. Alright, let's go. I didn't know where I was going, I lost sight. Okay. I got tossed around whenever I fell. Oh, there it is, I could've fucking probably looked a little better. We got it though, guys. We've done this before. We've done this through worse circumstances, honestly, so I'm not too worried. I've been in much dicier situations. So we got this. Oh yeah, look at us. Look at us go. That stability is getting a little creeping, but we're, we're fine. We're taking it off-road. Shit, that rock's big. Come on. Come on, Zach. We got it. We got it. Oh yeah, look at that. And she pulled us right out just in time. We back at the garage, I'm guessing? Or did she pull us somewhere else? No, that's good. Whew, yeah, we need to... We need to do some repairs, so I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get repaired up in between nice episodes, I feel like. There. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the Ooh. expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Yeah. Once you cross that wall, the mid-zone is another beast altogether. Well, the mid-zone crossing, guys. We're going to be coming up on the mid-zone in the next episode. I think I'm going to end that one here for the day. We'll find a way into that wall. Don't worry. But I'm going to end it for the day. If you guys like this one, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And, of course, I want to thank all of my members. Right now, I've got two members. That's right. Rainbow Chicken Live has joined Spinning to Win in the members circle. So if you guys want to join the Cool Kids Club and get access to the private Discord, custom emojis, and a shout out at the end of every video, be sure to click the members tab and join. I sure do appreciate all the support I've been getting. Thank you so much again, Spinning to Win and Rainbow Chicken Live for both being members. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.